hello Twitch, hello friends, hello world. We are back here again with the episode 9 of building an This is the episode 9 of building a Game Boy emulator with Rust. So today I I would like to address some things like fix uh, do some fixes uh, which I identified and also do some refactoring to try to improve our code to go faster later on and as today I have uh, less time because I have an, an appointment so I will I will use this for doing more like a, a more like a, a refactoring and fixing and let's go so uh, first things first uh, <clears throat> Remember yesterday I said that we have some here we have some need to check if the healthcare bit is right. Actually this could be wrong in the income increment and also in the decrement. So yeah, this is for 16. So actually, this is probably wrong in both sides. So uh, I found this very good article from 2016 in this blog, Rob Dor, and this is exactly what we need: visual guide to the game is boy half flag, half carry flag. And basically, this is a, is a arithmetic stuff. I mean, we can be nari. And actually, it it points us to that answer that we saw yesterday, but I was not like visualizing what the guys, the guy here, uh, want to explain. But he here goes deep and and explain each part of this, which makes sense to me. So basically. For calculating the health health carry bit in a in a increment, so in a sum operation, uh, we need to to do this. We end it. We bitwise end it with f, which is this, and we. We sum, make the sum between those two uh, bitwise, two ended values. Then we will be, we will have something like this. Because if we have, if we end the value with f, we will is like be uh, removing those uh, four higher bits, right? Because f, f is just uh, four bits equals one so one 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 is 16 which is f in x decimal so if we do an end a eight bit end with f we are removing four bits the higher four bits then we do the same for the both sides and we s make the sum if this if this the sum if the if making this sum uh, uh, make the the this last bit carry carry to the bit four so bit zero z one two three four so if the if the the carrier if the f, 
the value from here carry to this then it means that it's a health carry so doing this let me do this exactly what he is doing here so let's uh, let's use this example here let's say I mean do, I will do it here so let's say so what he's doing is something like this so a bitwise with 0 F plus B bitwise uh, bitwise with 0 F so let's say that e, e equals to 62 and B equals to 34 so 62 in binary is let me put the calculator here is easier so 62 62 is it is a uh, 80 bit so one so it's one uh, zero So it's zero one one zero 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 one zero and thirty four is thirty four is so sixty two no sorry I was so Zero is uh, sixty-two is zero zero one 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 zero and thirty-four is zero zero one zero 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 one zero. Okay, so let's break this up. So this operation A zero f will do something like this it will do zero 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 one 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 zero and uh, end zero 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 one 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 so the results here will be zero because we the when we use n this is an n so zero and n and zero 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 and zero zero one and zero zero one and zero zero one and one 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 and one 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 and one one zero and one zero so it will be something like this uh now let's do the same so in final words what it's doing is removing the higher bits because we are ending with this so in case of 34 so B so 34 is 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 0 and again F is 1 1 1 so f for doing this we are removing this zero 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 and zero zero one zero okay so this is the same as this except by the four digits and this is the same as this except by these four digits so we ignore the highest four for calculating the health carry, we ignore the highest four, and then we do the sum. So now we do the sum of two. So how we do that? So now, so this a, so uh, zero zero, so this. This s 
sum sum up with this will be so let's do this uh, from here 0 with 0 0 Z 1 with 1 is 0 but so then we can go here and this sorry let me change this music too much uh, epic so now this this operation is exactly this so zero 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 one one is zero carry carry one here one and one zero carry one one and one zero and carry one and then one here so this result will be zero let's let me put this carrier here so will be like this one 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 is two so one here one one is two so zero and one here one in one is also zero and we get this one here which is one so the result of this will be this so now seeing the bits we see that we have a health carry because what means health carry carry is when we carry a bit from here from this bit 3 to bit 4 so here we are seeing that we are half carrying uh, and this is for for four bits for eight bits operation actually so now uh, how we can identify this this is the magic of the last part which is this we get this so this is the result right this is the, the result of this so let me put it here result of this now we do this we do so we do zero and we do an we do an n with hexadecimal 10 which is this hexadecimal 10 is uh, this so doing this uh, will be something like this we are doing so again we will have one 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 zero 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 because all, all is zero so then how how we 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 will see now it we only need to check if the final result of this entire expression is equal to zero because at the end if this result is equals it means that it happened a half carry happened okay because always when always when we when we are doing a, a sum and we we remove the higher bits the higher four bits left left only let only four bits the lower four bits so the right four bits if the sum of the result get this when i do this when i end this with this it will always result this because one and one will be the, here so if the result was like um, something like this so the 
the result will be zero not this so then we can have this so finally how we uh, how we can calculate correctly a half bit in an increment of 8 bits so this is not right this is not right so actually we need to do this we do uh, and actually we need to have both sides of operation Oh, actually here, sorry, for the increment, this is right. This do the same thing actually, because when we, because the, the do increment is always doing a sum with one. So this will be end up doing zero, 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 one, one, one. Actually, we don't need to do this because the increment is always one, so we can do we can do something like let me change this music again, not good. Now it's good again. So one one one. So let's do the the, the thing that we are doing. So the thing is register value and zero F plus one and zero F and this being so this is zero F zero ten. And if if this is equals to zero ten, then it it is an a half. So let me do a function for this. Okay. So how I do that? I will do something like here. So do a calc calc half carry uh, on sum. So this is calculate. It will calculate this. So it it ha, it will get uh, value a, which is an eight bit. Value b, which is an eight bit, and we will return a boolean. Right. So how is that? That's simple. So as we said value a and 0 f so let me do this uh, plus value value b e and 10 so if this
So if this if this result is equal to zero of ten, I think I need to do this. What's this? Oh, sorry. It's this way. This, this. Okay. So, these do the calculation. So, if it is equal, so we have a half query. If not, half carry. So, how we use this? Oh, uh, this I will do this on eight bit sum. For this is for 8 bit. Only for. I will put you on. You wait. So. And how we use this here? Simple. In a do increment, it it will be always. It will be. If calc self calc oops to be self I need to do self so calc The second value is at one because the increment is always one. So if this is true, set else self reset. Okay, so now we we have a, a way to calculate the half carry in an eight bit sum. But now we understand how to calculate half query. So let's check how to calculate a half carry in a 16 bit in a 16 bit operation. Because it says here that the half carry flag is set when an arithmetic operation on two numbers cause a carry of uh, from the bit the, the bit In an 8 bit operation, it's from 3 to 1, to 4. And in a 60 bit operation, it's from 12 to 11. So let's exercise it here. So it says that, so 16 bit, 16 bit is something like. So let's do it again. Uh, 60 bit number is something from. Actually, 60 bit number is number 2, 6,064 uh, kilobytes, something like that. So let's do the same here. Let's for access the exercise. Let's do a sum from like five, one, two, three, two, B being like a. So this sum is obviously, obviously, 
Now this is take this will take actually the carry flag. So I think we need to do something like So this I think this will have a half carry operation. So let me uh, so one four one two one is so a equals to zero zero one one zero one 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 zero zero one zero one zero zero one so this is this number and this other number is one one three one so this will be zero one zero one zero zero one zero one zero 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 one zero zero one one okay so just a minute So, so, um, Okay, so sorry, I stepped back for a minute. Uh, so let's do this some. Let's let's try. So it, what it says is from bit eleven. So we have this. Uh, the bit eleven is this. It bit the bit eleven is this, and the bit and the bit. 12 is this so half half carry on 60 bit operations is the same as the same as as other so let's do this it's it's it, it's actually easy so let me do something like this uh, so one two three okay so actually actually 
for doing half carry in a 60 bit instead of doing ff is this ff ff and we do with then i think it is zero one And then it is like this. This is the sum, so this is like this. So, well, A. So, this is the half bit. So, then we have the same way now we have this so <laughs> yep now now we are doing uh, half carry bits for increment and we increments uh, Increment 16 and increment 8. A increment on 8 bit operation and increment on 16 bit operation. We are calculating the half carry flag correctly. But we still need to calculate the half carry flag on decrement. So, for the decrement here I think we have uh, so here actually uh, commands read mask let's see the decrement and says set if no borrow from bit 5 bit 4 So, how can I do this? Now it's a <coughs> decrement. So, how we do this decrement and how we calculate, I mean, how we calculate the half carry in a decrement? I think so. Decrement operation. How we do decrement? How we do subtraction? How subtract in our? I think we need the. We need to do the. Complement. See this.
la verdad y a mis hijos con la acción de estar presente. La voz de sabia que es felicidad comunicada. Now, one surah has a minor lesson in taking two in the decimal of system. And one is just one decimal. And Suman is one to give us the answer of the decimal. Now, we can't do the surah notes because that's going to get into some of the content. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to borrow this surah and we're going to turn it into a surah note. And then this surah becomes a surah note. Two minus one is one. And zero minus nothing is nothing. So zero, one, zero, five. Now, what if we have a big change? Let's say it's one, zero, zero, and then six, one, and six. And this column is one, two, and two. So one, zero, zero is one, zero. And one, zero is two. Four minus two is two. So we should have two. Starting with the first column, zero minus zero is one. Now, zero minus one can't be that. So we have to borrow the zero from there. So that's going to disappear. That's going to change to zero. And this becomes a two. Two minus one is two. You could bring the zero back in. Zero, one, zero, and one, zero. Mm, these mean borrow from bit far. Now let's try this one. One, zero, zero, minus one. Go ahead and subtract the first one. That way we get the second one. So we can't move the first column. Zero minus one is giving us negative number. So we have to borrow the second one. Now we can't borrow anything from this column because it's zero. So we need to borrow a one from a column that has a zero. This becomes a zero, and this column becomes a two. Anytime you cross out a zero, it turns into a two. It's going to work the same way. Now, we still need something in this column. So, let's borrow a one from the two. This becomes a one, and this becomes a two. Now, we need to borrow the two. So, two minus one will give you one. And then, we can bring that one back. bring back the zero as well. Now let's check the next one. So one zero zero is four. That's a binary number. That's a decimal equivalent to zero. And here we can have zero. So four minus one is one. Now we can add this number to it. One, two, four. So we have one, zero, four. So here it says so here it says set if no borrow from four. If we don't need to borrow, then it will be set. Okay, so let's do some exercise here. So like let's see like let's do the same like a equals to 62 and B equals to 23 so from our calculator so A equals to A equals to Zero 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 one 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 zero and B equals two zero 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 one one zero one one one. So let's see if this decrement is Hello, hey, hi, Green Zone Nook. Hello, how are you doing? Hi, how are you doing? S 
So, how we should do this? So, let me just do one thing here quickly. So let's do this. Uh, so so uh, let's do this uh, subtraction. So the decrement, the subtraction. So zero zero one zero one one zero and zero 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 one zero one one one. So zero minus one. It I can't because it's became negative number. Zero minus one. So I. I borrow from here this, like it said, this became a zero. So this became a zero, and this became a two. But I borrow. No, uh, sorry. This it this don't need to to change. Actually, I borrow from here, so this become a zero and this become a two. Two minus one, one. Okay. Now zero minus one. I need to again borrow from here. So this become a zero and this become a two. So two, two minus one, one. Then it's again a one. This so this become a zero and. 2 minus 1, 1. Then 0 minus 0, 0. Then 1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 1, 0. Let's see if it is right. So it becomes 0, 0. So let's see. 64. 64 minus 23, 41. So, yeah, 64 minus 23. And, wait, wait a minute. Oh, this is, it's not 64. 62 minus 23. Wait, 
62 minus 23. Mm. I made something wrong here. No, that's, that, that's correct, sorry, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, it's exactly like that. But we didn't borrow uh, something from here. I want something that I borrow. Uh, let's see. Let me see something. I need to see. Huh? Hmm. Decrement of This document has several errors. So, how? How have Gary works? Yeah, this is what I we saw. Either subtract the opinion. See, okay.
sorry I had to handle something here but okay uh, so Hey Edson, yeah, Ross Dev, and doing Game Boy Emulator without knowing about Game Boys and without knowing about Rust. <laughs> so we are having some fun, fun here. Edson Six. Do you know Rust? Or do you know something about emulation at all? Help us here with half carry calculation in a... S well, great. So, uh, we are, I'm doing a Game Boy emulation here and we need to calculate the half carry flag for a decrement per instruction. Rest of those memory issues, which is good in terms of cyber security. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, there is a there is disparity, which is a implementation of Bitcoin in in Rust. I think so. Yeah, yeah. There is a lot of uh, security stuff built in in Rust nowadays. And yeah, it should perform very well. Well, in in our case, the performs the performance for the Game Boy Emulator, uh, it will not be an, an issue. Actually, I need to handle the timings to to make the the, the emulation sync. But yeah, it's pretty good, and that's why I'm trying to learn. <laughs> As as a guy told these days in odd, uh, in any other language and um, we do the hello world stuff but in Rust the hello world is an build an emulator. <laughs> oh how how can I change that to be not eight ten eighty p only? Let me see if I. I can mess with this OBS or mm. I don't really know how to I don't know how to to decrease like to to have more options in the quality. Oh yeah, I saw that it's only one okay, okay so let me do this. Stream labs other resolutions. Oh, I'm not partner yet. I'm not even affiliate. I have only 12 followers. If you like the show, <laughs> please follow. Then we, we will get there. <laughs> uh, so yeah, yeah, we, we have only, I have only 10, 1080. So thank you for Letting me know 1080. Yeah. Yeah, but if I if I change the, the full resolution to 720p, then I think it will be hard to read the screen. I think so. Unless I use seven 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 twenty p, which will make me which will makes me I I I, I cannot use like less than. So if I go this, yeah, then they, then my screen will blow up. Oh, 
it gives even. It makes my computer slow even. No, let's keep it. But yeah, I think I will need to. Oh yeah, I can change that. I think it's video, right? Yeah, but I think I need to stop the streaming. Yeah, I'll do the next next stream. Uh, but it is 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 getting too much. Like, um, it's stopping too much for you because the first streaming was very uh, smoothly, and then since yesterday, I mean, since before yesterday it skipped like skipping some frames and like in buffering yeah I think it's my connection because I'm besides I'm using a desktop here I'm using wireless and the halter is on the other room so I don't know I will use a cable here so anyway, we need to solve this half carry in the decrement. Do you have any idea how to do that? How to calculate a half carry on decrement instruction? Because we saw this half carry. Not a lot, but I did in the beginning. Uh, safer for most viewers. Ah, 720p is safer for most viewers. Mm. Yeah, I think I will the next the next I will do 7p 720p. So yeah. Uh, Picture so in this case we are summing but if you do the same here One, two, four, sorry, one, two, four, eight. So, six, two, minus eight. So, let's try this. Sixty-four. So, sixty-four is one, one. Zero one one zero. Okay. So sixty four and twenty three. Twenty three is this. So sixty four is this. Hmm. hmm. Actually, I need to do. Let me do fifty. Yeah, so fifty.
So sixty. So fifty is this. So fifty is this. So I think now we will have the situation of half carry. Let's see. So uh, zero minus one needs to grab uh, one from here so this becomes zero and this become uh, two minus one one okay then zero minus one I again need Oops. I again need to borrow one from here, but these do not have one. So then, uh, so zero so this this borrow one from here it becomes zero so now zero minus one it needs to borrow one from here it becomes two but this his has no zero so this we borrow one from here it becomes two and this becomes two and this becomes zero and now we have a half bit. Hmm. Now we have a half bit. So we borrow from here to here. Huh. So how we should calculate that? So if we do this. Oh, it's simple. We do an an um, or an an yeah i think i i understood so we do this we do an 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 end and if the uh the one that is decrementing so the the second part is higher than the above it means that they need to borrow a bit from here and yeah <laughs> I think we know now how to do the at least in 8 bit. So 8 bit calc half carry on 8 bit. So in a substruction. So this is something like this. It's I do the same, but this case I just need to to see if if the the second value is after uh, ending with one 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 is higher than the the first value, it means that we need to borrow. Great, 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 great. So now we can do something like this so this is just on subtraction but I think in this case is different is like this because if we borrow we are not caring I think that's it if somebody on Twitch or somebody else on YouTube knows a better way please 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 tell us and here we have the sound but for subtraction
Okay, so now the decrement is correct. So let me do this and see if it's still running. It should be. Okay, so git status. So git add and commit fix half carry in increment and ink and decrement. Push. Okay. So, um, what else we need to have factor? Oh, yeah, I, I was thinking about that. Set register. So So now I think I really think that we need to do some different stuff here But Let me see. Yeah, we do the set register giving a string as name in value. Just because we don't we are not using hash map here. We are Yeah, but I think we will need to check it later. So, friends, I think uh, I will stop on that. I know that it's a very fast, very fast session today. It's because I have an appointment later on today. So I need to turn off early. Uh, we are still far I think I want to do something else uh, so let me do this Game Boy IO registers yeah we have some special records here which I want to yeah this there are a lot of uh, registers here, video video I/O registers, which I want to put in our in our memory M MMU debug. Yeah, I want to put it there. Oh, so also here I found something that. These need to be here, and this needs to be like this, and this needs to be this because in in Rust the oh sorry in Rust the uh, ranges are not inclusive in the end side. So for getting oh, to the end, we need to do this. Or I think we can do something like this. Let's see. Like do not put any. Yeah, yeah, it works. So here we don't need to put any ending because we go through all the way to the end. So besides uh, that, I want to put some.
some good registers here. Yeah, but I think I need to go now. I, I will not have time for that. Yeah, so tomorrow, uh, no, tomorrow, no, Monday, we will start uh, doing this, uh, putting, like, uh, these registers on the debug message. And then continue from there. Let me just do fix the bug. Um so guys so friends from what's your ID? Oh J uh it's C Lion. It's Jet Jet Brain Jet Brains C Lion is this it's a uh, actually C but I'm using the Rust this Intel this this plugin which transform that in a and of course I'm using some theme here that's it it's very good but most people in, in Rust community also use Visual Studio Code, which is also VS Code is also good for Rust because it has nice um, nice integration. I use this because I use JetBrains for Java, I use JetBrains for PHP, for so P P PHP Storm, uh, JetBrains Idea for Java. I use WebStorm for React stuff, so I, I I'm use it to the JetBrains ecosystem. So that's why I'm using this. Uh, and 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 this plugin says to be better when it's plugged in C Lion, which is the C version of uh, JetBrains IDE. So that's it, folks. Uh, uh, we have this. This set. Uh, this uh, show is this show is weekly in business days. So from Monday to Friday, every day about 6:30 EST, 6 6:30 EST. It is used to to take two hours or even two hours and a half. But today I need to stop early so I need to stop now uh, I will be back on Monday this video recording will be stay here in, in Twitch and it will be also in YouTube so you can get the YouTube channel here in the description there in the description <laughs> and that's it folks uh, see you on Monday Thank you for watching. Bye bye.